I'm Trish O'Brien, I'm the director of the Academy. I formed the Academy to take all of the most talented students from around the region, including Bellingen, Coffs Harbour and beyond, uh, to put them together in chamber music, to teach them the art of chamber music. All of the kids had to audition for their places, so they turned up absolutely terrified of me, of little me, it seemed ridiculous, but anyway. They turned up and did three minutes of audition and usually within about 30 seconds I knew, knew that I wanted them. They're all school age kids. My name is Daniel, I'm a French horn player. Ursula, I'm 16 and I play the flute. I'm Megan, I'm 14 and I play violin. I'm Michaela, I'm 18 and I play viola. Charlotte and I'm 14 and I play cello. Liam, I am 15 and I also play viola. Lachlan, I play the violin. Julia, and I am 13 and my position in the academy is the double bass. Sally, I'm 17 and I play the violin. Vanessa, I play the Mozart Piano Quartet and the Corelli String Ensemble. I hear an awful lot about their geography assignments and their English teacher and their horse riding and they love to eat at rehearsals. But most importantly, they love the academy. They've become really passionate. When they first came to the academy, they didn't want to talk to each other and they didn't know anything about each other other than that somebody had won in every field for the last five years and they didn't like him. So we had to do games and we had to have lots of fun in order to, for them to get used to each other and realise that they're all human beings and they're here to play music for the love of it. What makes the academy really amazing is when we play together and we don't go against each other. We make music together and that's what's really beautiful about the Academy. It's just so good to play with people the same age group who enjoy music so much. The, the whole deal with the Academy is that they have to learn an entire standard concert program, all the movements included, of standard classical repertoire in a term. I see the Academy growing, I, I see it becoming quite something that's quite exciting and enticing and, and something that really should be part of every serious music student's life and experience. We're always going to be open to new kids, there's going to be auditions at the end of every term, so um, we're very happy to accept new applications and, and see how people go within the group. There's, there's going to be different ensembles made every single term throughout the year so there's no set rigid path there's no clicks which I think is very important in a, in a musical context. I don't actually know any secrets about her. Um, yeah. Well she's a good teacher but that's not a secret. When you have a passion like this for music when you really want to learn an instrument you want to absorb as much as you can and the thing with a regional town is that we have less students, less talented students so it's a little bit harder for them to, to get together and this is what I'm trying to do as director of the conservatorium is, is to have the conservatorium as the home for where kids can come together and make really serious music and really hone their passions and, and have incredible performance opportunities and, and develop their skills in many ways, in many aspects of chamber music including having to get up and do public speaking and programming and stage management. So I'm trying, trying to teach them pretty much everything you need to learn to be a professional musician.